I'm Sam Wilkin, and through this series of films, I'm going to be introducing you to the people and the place behind one of Britain's best loved cheeses, Baron Bygod. We'll see the seasons change in the Waveney Valley, and we'll get a deeper understanding of the passion and the craft that goes into making this incredible farmhouse cheese. This is Fen Farm Dairy. For the last 10 years, uh, I was a zookeeper. I was being introduced to people that I'd never met, and they were like, oh, you're the zookeeper. And that's kind of what I was known as for, for the first couple of weeks. It, we normally use uh, what we call evening milk. That milk will then get stored for separating. Uh, the cream we use for, for our butter, the, the skimmed milk that, that comes from that, uh, we never really had a, a use for it. It was kind of just a waste product. Uh, Johnny and uh, Steve went to, went to Iceland uh, to basically learn about it. I'm just checking how much we've got. So in there today, we've got around about 800 litres of um, skimmed milk in there at the minute. Which coincides exactly what Steve wanted. An eye for detail, being a perfectionist, consistency as well. The more you rush, the more prone you are to, to making a mistake with it. It's always about the quality rather than the speed of what you're doing, which is kind of perfect for me because I've always been that sort of person. I've always sort of been a bit slower at doing things than others, but trying to do it as best as I could. There's quite a lot of elements to my job now, to my old job, like I still work with a shovel. So now that the ski has been sat here for a little while, and it's probably been about 10 to 15 minutes, we now just need to, to remove it from the bottom. So we're just kind of moving it around. So you've got that yellow sort of hue on top from, from the way, and then as you mix it up, you're bringing up that skier. So by the end of today, this whole vat will be a nice smooth white colour and hopefully will taste amazing.
So this is now the skier that we produced yesterday. So as you can see, it's a lot thicker now. So I hit the black current one. It's certainly one that looks the best. The contrast of, um, of this sort of deep red black current um, jam that we're using with see, the, the silky white skier, I think it sort of stands out quite nicely on a shelf. It is quite tasty as well. The f I think the first few times I had it, um, I used to put like a, get a spoonful of lemon curd and put it in with the natural, and that's really nice. I kept, I kept keep trying to convince Steve that we should make lemon, uh, a lemon skier, but I haven't won yet. I wasn't keen on it the first time I tried it because for the only yogurt I'd eat is like a muller corner kind of thing and I eat quite a lot of it now. When it's done right it is pretty perfect.